Hello and welcome back to my channel. I know as soon as you saw this tag that VTubers are doing other VTubers tutorials, you knew that I would get on this train. You knew that I would do it. You had to know. But unfortunately, I've seen a lot of the same YouTubers done, and I mean, of course, those YouTubers are so artistic and so talented, and that's why. But I feel like some of our Canadian girls have been a little underrepresented. So today, I'm gonna try out one of my original faves, Sam Ravendell. Just occurred to me, I've never said her last name out loud or heard it said out loud. Was that right? I don't know. On Instagram and other social medias, she's known as Samantha because she's got all these S's in front of her name. On YouTube, uh, her and a couple of other girls used to have like a makeup company and it was called Battle Ash and they sold eyeshadows and that sort of thing and so I bring that up because in the tutorial I'm gonna follow today she uses a Battle Lash palette. Now obviously I don't think that palette would exist anymore but I have similar eyeshadows and this crown brush palette that I used on my channel before just because it's got bright colors. That's what I'm gonna use today instead of her palette. I chose the uh, video that I did choose of Sam's even though it's older because it's a really like bright greeny yellow look and I just love playing with colors so much that I thought it would be fun to do that. And Sam is kind of known for her neutral smoky eyes so i thought it'd be fun if i did one of her videos to showcase one of the bright tutorial you know looks one of my favorite things about samantha's tutorials is how in-depth she is when she explains it you know she's not one of you know like myself who's just like i'm doing this now she really explains to you as a makeup artist why she's doing what she's doing uh, how it works and how it's going to help the rest of her makeup as she's going. And I just really appreciate that. So if you haven't seen Samantha's videos, you should definitely check her out. I will link the video that I'm following in this video in the description box below as well as her channel, therefore, so you can check her out if you wanna. This tutorial is also eyes only because I didn't want to do my whole face. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get into it. I forgot she ever had her septum pierced. Or was it a fake piercing? I don't remember. Okay, so first we're gonna use like a neutral Toby color. Question mark. Uh, uh, does that one sort of look like it? Sure. The one beside it maybe actually might be a little grayer. Yes, 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 I made the right choice. I also love that Samantha does her eye tutorials like one-eyed. Just keeps everything going so much faster, you know. But then, of course, me following it, I have to do both eyes. I'm just using this as my transition shade to make it easier to blend my other colors later. And I already have my eyeshadow base and um, a... Next, I'm going to go ahead and take Electro, which is this nice lime bow. I'll mix that one and the yellow and together. I'm going to go ahead and apply that into the crease, kind of blending up towards the brow bone there. Old, so if you ain't freaky... Now's the time to leave. And I'm just pulling that down onto the lid a little bit so we can blend our lid color a little bit easier later on. I'm gonna go ahead and use NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. Okay, Black Bean. I actually have that. Oh my god, Sam, we're like the and same person. Worry, it's a little bit messy. Just make sure that you have an even coat. And I'm going to leave that a little bit away from the inner corner there to make sure that it doesn't get too dark over over there and then i'm just gonna go ahead and take my what's this thing called real techniques shading brush i don't know what it is okay, hold your right. horses here i gotta do two eyes okay i gotta do two eyes if you don't have this next pencil get it it's too much fun techniques brushes but i cannot remember the name for some reason you think it'd be easier than numbers but it really isn't for me anyways i'm just blending out the and don't worry if this is looking like a little bit muddy and crazy right now because it'll probably turn out fine but it might not but it probably will. I feel like hers ended up way darker than mine did. Like hers is black and mine is grayish. Maybe I need more? Question mark? Okay, I think that looks better. It still looks really patchy on me for some reason, but I think she's covering it the next step, right? I'm just taking that on a little shader brush and I'm going to- Okay, yeah, get a really off. blue color and pat it on. I'm gonna have to wash all these damn brushes. Pretty much all over the lid, not pretty much completely. And there you have it. Done. Just kidding. I'm just gonna take a little brush. This is a pretty big brush, actually. I'm gonna take a pretty big brush and blend. We went too fast for me again, Sam. Doesn't look as bad as I thought it would, and now I think she's gonna blend out the edges with the. That out. Now she's just blending out the edges with just going the, the yellowy green there. color that and I was you mixing. Need to, you can pick up a little bit more of that blue color to blend out those edges more so, and that's precisely what I'm going to do. And then adds a little bit of blue to help blend it as well. Blue 
blending. She's adding a darker blue on the outside. I got blue all over my face somehow. Look at what's next to each other on the color wheel and be like okay. And in my nose. Guess we don't have that pigment. But I do have this NYX eyeshadow, which is not as green, but it's the closest I've got, so I've gotta use that instead. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. I love makeup. I'm gonna apply a little bit of winged eyeliner. If you want this look to be a little bit less dramatic and like grayish, you can go without the wing liner if you want, but I mean, it's gonna be fun if you do the wing liner. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Anyways, I'm just taking my little Sigma brush. Now I'm really bad at gel liner, but if she wants me to use gel, I'm gonna have to. Oh, <laughs> I don't know that I can. Look at it, it's like, Rock solid. It wasn't like this the last time I used it. Let me try it. If this doesn't work, I'll just use one of my glow markers. I'm trying to be authentic. Yeah, no. Just skipping over everything. Yeah, no. An attempt was made and therefore no one can judge me. Sam, I know you wanted me to use gel liner, but desperate times, my friend. Desperate times. Something like that, I think. Two, Minus three, the blue four, on my face. Eight. Just to fix this crazy liner we have going on here, I'm gonna take the black from the palette. So now she wants to make it smoky. This would be why I should have used gel, because then I could just smoke the liner. Can't really do that with liner that dries down. Oh, I don't know how to do smoky wings. Where's my blendy one? Did that help at all? I can clean up the underneath with concealer. I'm not worried about that. I think maybe it's helping a little bit. Ah, uh, Sam. My kryptonite. Spooky liner. You want a shop wing? Got it for days. You want a smoky wing? That I can't do. Well, that's gonna have to do. I think that's the best I'm gonna get. On the bottom, I'm just gonna apply my NYX black bean again. She's putting black bean on the her lower waterline. I'm just gonna go ahead and take cinnamon, which is the color right here. With the here. first color oh, we use, wow, really or with a warm okay. brown. Still my beating heart. I'm taking cinnamon with a warm and... brown. Okay, now that we're all cleaned up underneath, she did black bean. Miss Samantha often likes a really heavy waterline on the bottom. And I seldom do, but this is her tutorial. So I'm just gonna do as I'm told. And a warm brown, right? I'm gonna go ahead and apply Lottie's mascara and I'll show you guys the finished look. So this is the final look. And that's the final look. And yeah, this is the finished look. This is my attempt at Sam's makeup tutorial. Uh, I obviously don't have the same product, so it didn't look exactly the same, but I think I did a decent job. She's obviously extremely talented, like the most talented, and I'm like still really just a beginner. I can't even do a smoky liner yet. Like, what do I even know, you know? But I really am inspired by a lot of her looks, and I really wanted to give it my best go, so Samantha, I hope I made you proud. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. And if you haven't checked out Samantha's channel before, make sure you go do that. Because she's amazing and beautiful and talented and I love her. And she's Canadian. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!